And uh, when we were doing some carbon landscape stuff, sort of said, how, how do we get the message across about the heritage working with the, with the, uh, the, the natural England type stuff? And, um, Julie came along and as you well know, she wrote three playlets. So we had uh, 30 people in each audience rotating round either during a morning or an evening and it worked really really well and it is a methodology by which you can get some fairly complex ideas through but done it in a natural sort of educational way because the net result is that we're doing the right things but also we're setting the right platform for our children to come along and see heritage in all its glory before that dies I'm a volunteer, like everybody else is that's on site, um, and I started about three years ago, but it, it's kind of developed from just doing volunteer gardening, um, so I now do some of the greenscapes. I'm also a train driver um, and a train guard, um, but yeah, I get more involved in the horticulture than anything else. Everybody gets something different, I think. Everybody gets a bit of a camaraderie, a, a, a chance to chat to other people, to share ideas and to share news and information and to make friends. and. and there's a, there's a big social aspect to this as well as, as the ability to go off and just do your own quiet planting which is also what some people want to do, some space so that they can, they can have some fresh outdoor space. We have seen people uh, from leaving school getting real work experience and ultimately living in the community and living independently and getting full-time jobs. For the last three, three to four years we've been working with the Lancashire Wildlife Trust to produce cuttings for the moss to replenish the, the 50 square kilometres that we've got of little woven moss. Uh, the, the, most of the plants that we do are cross leaf heath which is to provide the environment for the uh, bog butterfly that only lives on the moss there. But we also do several other uh, species of plants as well which are inconclusive so the idea is that we keep the genus the same so most of the cuttings and seeds come from the moss we propagate them here which is only about four miles away from the moss and then we propagate them here and send them back down to the moss again um we're all local we all know each each other and because of the network of, of sub friends you get to hear about issues on site such as people coming on site with electric um, uh, tra trial bikes and do doing damage to the footpaths and also issues that that lady that you saw there was, is, is uh, registered disabled she still actually moves around with sticks but she has problems if an area is particularly boggy so we wouldn't really notice it was an issue but she flags that up just showing you the um, the sites that we have here and in particular th this one is of interest because it's the uh, the latest sort of development in um, re-wetting a mossland area. Uh, they were puzzled at first because they thought it was going to cause flooding on the property. They didn't understand about water retention how it actually works and helps and also some people insisted on walking right across it because they thought they had a public right of way and didn't want to walk around but now it's actually flooded and they can't I think that's no longer a problem. This boardwalk has made a tremendous difference to the local community. Uh, a lot of our regular visitors who um, either walk with sticks, uh, they're in wheelchairs and they are so pleased to be able to come in onto this boardwalk. As well as that, we get quite a lot of special needs groups that will come on a daily basis and they all absolutely love to come down here and look at the view so they can get right up close to a mossland. There's nowhere else where you can do this on site if you're in a wheelchair, so it's been absolutely brilliant for us. Hamilton Davis Trust is a local charity um, based in Cadizet and has been in operation since 2004. Um, it's a grant giving charity and basically supports the local community Whereas we've concentrated on supporting community groups, which we still do, we've also got involved with sort of large regenerational projects within the area, uh, and Earlham Station being one of those. The relationship to the Mosland from Hamilton Davis Trust is a passion from our Chief Executive, uh, Neil MacArthur, um, and 
it's all about um, accessing um, the space that we've got out there and, and basically linking it to the urban area in which we live in. Earlham and Caddy Z is west of Salford and is banked by the Manchester Ship Canal on one side and the Mosslands on the other. So I think it's really important that the people of Earlham and Caddy Z have that opportunity to explore the Mosslands and accessibility is a really, really big issue. What Hamilton Davis Trust has done is open that opportunity for all to explore it. Earlham Station is not only a hub for the communities of Earlham and Caddy Z, but it's a gateway to the Mosslands.